everyone, I am back with another video for you and today I'll be reviewing the Steamery Pilo Fabric Shaver and the Lint Brush. I promised that I would review these products back when I did the Cirrus number no. 3 steamer review. And since then, a review of the Pilo Fabric Shaver has also been requested. So here it is from me to you. And to be honest, I expect a lot of these products because I was very excited about the Cirrus number no. 3 steamer and how well it worked. I was really, really happy with that product. So I definitely expect these to be just as good or maybe even better. And just a side note here, if you haven't seen my Cirrus number no. 3 steamer review, I've placed the link in the description so you can check that out if that sounds interesting to you. So let's start with the lint brush. I don't have the box anymore, but it comes in a very nice, just like regular, small, thin cardboard box with a confetti-like design on it. And on the back of this box, there's a quick description on how to use this one. The product itself has the same confetti design as the box. I chose it in beige so that it would match my steamer and the pile of fabric shaver that we'll get to later in this video. And the overall design is beautiful and simple, exactly how I like it, and that's so pleasing. And something that I really like about this product is that you can use it over and over again, and that means less waste. If you look at the brush up close, you can see that there are these little hairs, and they will grab the lint as you wipe the brush downwards on your clothing. But be careful not to wipe the other way, as all of the lint that you just removed will then stick to your clothes once again. Other than that, it is a lot like using a regular lint roller. Now, I've just used it on some regular fuzz on my clothing that probably comes from blankets and furniture, but I also want to test it against pet hairs because that's what I'm most interested in removing from my clothing because we have a cat. And if you have a dog or a cat or just any other pet that sheds a lot of hair, you probably know how life-saving lint rollers can be. A small amount of fuzz on my clothing is just fine really, but pet hair is just a whole other story. So this is our cat and she is sitting here on my lap, leaving lots of light gray hairs everywhere on my black pants. I thought it would be a super good idea to put on black pants today uh, because her fur is light gray, so it's easier for you to see how well the brush actually works when I'm gonna test it out. Okay, so now let's try out this brush on my pants. As you can see, the hairs are super clear. And wow, okay, it's actually pretty good at removing pet hair as well. They get picked up by the brush very easily, so that's super positive. And when you're done using the brush, you can turn it like this so that all of the lint is kept inside. And when you've used it a lot of times and it's all full, you can pop it open on top and remove all of it. So overall, I'm definitely super pleased with this product. It looks great, it works well, and it doesn't cost much. Okay, that was the lint brush. Now we're moving on to the pile of fabric shaver. And this one comes in a small box. Very pretty design, just like the Cirrus number no. three steamer, actually. And inside, you'll find um, the fabric shaver, of course, and on the lid, um, on the back of the lid, actually, you will find all of the accessories that comes with this product. And those are, of course, a manual. Um, there's also this little brush for cleaning the fabric shaver and a cable for charging it. The design of the fabric shaver matches the design of the Cirrus number no. three steamer. The surface is smooth. The overall design is minimal, neutral and appealing. And to clean and empty the container, you just turn the bottom of the fabric shaver to the side and it'll come off very easily. Inside, there are sharp blades, so you have to be careful when handling it. After emptying it, you can use the small brush to carefully clean the blades and the back of the mouthpiece. I also found it very simple to use. You just have to push the button on top of it and slide it over the garment. However, the manual says that you have to be careful when shaving delicate materials like cashmere, merino wool, and alpaca. I ended up testing this product on two different types of wool. First one is a merino wool and cashmere blend. It's a very finely knitted garment. And the other one is a more chunky woolen sweater. 
because I really wanted to see how it would handle those bigger woolen chunks because I have a lot of chunky knits because I used to knit a lot of sweaters myself. We'll start with this merino wool cashmere blend pullover. The shaver really works like a charm on this garment. And I just have to say, it's so satisfying seeing all of that fuss just disappear just like that. Yes, I can already say that I'm a big fan of this product. And here you have some before and after photos so you can really see the result. I think it's really good. And here we have the chunky wool sweater. When it comes to shaving chunky knits, it gets a little more complicated. The shaver can actually still handle bigger woolly chunks and the result is just as good as on the other sweater, but you have to press it down a little bit harder and slide the shaver over the same area two to three times or even more before the fuss is shaved off. So it still leaves a wonderful result, even though it's a little more work than shaving a finely knit sweater. But for sweaters more chunky than this, it would probably be best to use a comb specifically for wool. Now I've tested both of these products and what can I say other than I am really, really happy about these two products. I'm so happy that I got them. I like to take good care of my clothing and products like these are a tremendous help, I think. And I'm especially impressed by the fabric shaver. Shaving the wool cashmere blend pullover was super quick, super easy, and really, really just so satisfying. <laughs> Now I want to talk a little about garment care tips because I think it is so important to take good care of my clothing to make them last longer. My wardrobe is basically a mix of high street pieces and more exclusive pieces that I tend to buy secondhand. And to be honest, it's a lot like my home decor. It's a good mix of budget and more exclusive stuff. And I really want my clothes to last for as long as possible and also for them to look good for as long as possible. And therefore I always follow these tips when taking care of my clothes. Okay, so the first one is that I always wash my clothes on 30 degrees or less and on a short program to keep the friction to a minimum because the friction is very hard on your clothes in the washing machine. And for that same reason, I never tumble dry my clothing either. Air drying your clothes, preferably outside, is a much better alternative. It's so much better for your clothes and it's also way cheaper. So that's kind of a no-brainer to me. I also wash delicate garments by hand, primarily stuff made of wool and silk. And I always wash my clothes inside out because it prevents unnecessary wear and tear on the outside of your clothes from the friction in the washing machine and it also prevents odor retention in your clothes and i'd love to use my steamer for freshening up my clothes besides making my clothing look better the hot steam also kills bacteria which makes steaming a good alternative to washing when it comes to clothing that's not really dirty but just needs to be freshened up and i don't mind the heat when it comes to steaming because the garment is only heated for a very short amount of time before it cools off again and this way you also avoid overwashing which can be really hard on your clothes and you'll ultimately extend the life cycle of your clothes. And as I mentioned earlier, I used to knit a lot. And one thing's for sure about wool, it will start peeling eventually. And to combat this, I like to use the fabric shaver or a wool comb. And I think it's so incredible because it can really make the garment look totally new again. And that was all for this time. I have had so much fun reviewing these products. I've enjoyed it so much. I hope that you could use my recommendations and garment care tips. Remember to check out my links in the description. I've also linked the Cirrus number no. three steamer review. So you can definitely check that out if that sounds interesting. And now all that's left to say is thank you so much for watching this video. And if you like this video, please remember to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more reviews and more interior content. And I'll have a new video for you very soon. Mm -hmm.